Welcome to the rocket profile of New Glenn, Blue Origin's planned orbital rocket. With a first launch originally planned for 2020 but now delayed until at least late 2022, New Glenn had been in a tight competition with United Launch Alliance's Vulcan rocket and SpaceX's Starship Super Heavy system to become the first rocket to launch to orbit with a methane-fueled first stage. Both this rocket and the Vulcan rocket would use Blue Origin's BE-4 engines on the first stage, with Vulcan using two of the engines, while New Glenn is boosted by seven of them. The performance of the engine is not finalized, but my best estimate is a sea level thrust of around 2,368 kilonewtons and a vacuum thrust of 2,647 kilonewtons with a vacuum specific impulse of around 341 seconds, though I've also seen estimates of up to 355 seconds. The first stage of New Glenn can burn for a little over three minutes, typically reserving some propellant for the first stage to land on a drone ship for reuse like SpaceX's Falcon 9. The second stage of New Glenn was at one point supposed to use a vacuum version of the BE-4, but that has since been switched to a vacuum version of the BE-3, known as the BE-3U, which is a highly modified version of the hydrogen-fueled engine Blue Origin uses on the New Shepard suborbital rocket designed to loft tourists for a brief stint in space. There will be two BE-3Us on the second stage, and they produce about 710 kilonewtons of thrust in vacuum each. Their vacuum-specific impulse will likely not be higher than 446 seconds. The burn time is of course uncertain, but probably tops out at around 7.5 minutes. Comparison between the stated low Earth orbit capability of the rocket versus its geosynchronous transfer orbit capability suggests that the BE-3U's efficiency could be much lower, but again, a lot remains uncertain. The rocket is slated to carry 45 tons to low Earth orbit and 13 tons to geosynchronous transfer orbit. In the original configuration with a vacuum BE-4 on the second stage, there was to be an optional third stage with a BE-3U available for the rocket. The choice to use the BE-3U on the second stage saves on the need for a third stage option while also providing some redundancy on the second stage. It is Blue Origin's intention that a new Glenn first stage will be reused for at least 25 launches, and the company previously said that the first stage would be designed to launch 100 times. SpaceX has shown that there's the potential for such reuse, but there is still a question about the actual economics of it, and also whether anyone else except for SpaceX can pull it off. Thank you for watching this rock profile of New Glenn.